Okay, and I think it's time we can start our course. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the Sita Lighthouse Project AIDT course. And today we will begin the fourth session by discussing AIDT in marketing and the social science. And uh, in this session, our schedule is um, first AIDT in marketing. We will explore how AIDT is changing the way business like business connect with the customers and uh, explore AIDT in the social science such as the finance, education, and the social network. We will explore how AIDT can be used to analyze financial system model, social phenomena, improve the educational method, and even the um, personality trait recogn recognitions. Yeah, let's jump to the AIDT in marketing. Yeah, for many years now, some business have struggled with the uh, digitalization, trying to react to market demand with a little planning or strategy. But it is possible to do digital transformation in a proper way. And you can prepare for the future for of the sales without disrupting your business. The answer comes into the AIDT, of course. In this session, we will explore how e-commerce and the retail business can use AIDT to accelerate the sales and growth, provide buyers with the added value of visual reality and a personal experience before and during the purchase of the product. Yeah, yeah, and the business can showcase the product in a way that goes beyond traditional product description and images, providing customers with a more engaging and a memorable shopping experience to create um a accurate and effective digital twin business must provide as, as much product information as possible to ensure that the digital twin reflects the product physical characters and functions. Business can use a digital twin for various purposes such as product design, testing, and the customer engagement. Yeah, so there are five reasons for why we need digital twin based interactive marketing like involving your customers in the creation process by providing an immersive and a personalized um, experience. Customers feel invested emotionally when they take the time to test and create a product to their specifications, letting them to be involved from the very beginning, enhance their sense of belongings to the brand and the product. And take, for example, this approach of Wayfair Company. Wayfair Company is a miracle immersed company headquartered in Boston. That's sales furniture and home furnishing online to the homeowner across the country. Yeah, and uh, the Wayfair use digital chain to create view in room. That is an interior design and uh, room planning app that invites customers to explore professionally design room and uh, visualize the product in the home at scale through the mixed reality. Like by using AR and, and the 3D modeling technology, customers can see how furniture will look in their space experiment with different style and uh, configurations and make better buying decision all from the comfort of their home. So this creates a shopping experience far more engaged and uh, immersive than a traditional product detail page with just a, a product description and a few images. 
and like B2B buyer looks to upgrade or expand the machinery and the equipment want to the same convenience as when they buy the next sofa. If your customers are already shopping online, then you should be too. This will the digital twin powered interactive 3D marketing experience come in. Using AIDT, we can set up a OMI channel product configurator and deploy it to the platform of your choice, including the mobile, desktop, web, GL, like AR and VR. No matter where your customer find your online service, they can try out different combinations of machine components, layout, branding elements, and more. So let's like this example created by the uh, Unity team is a uh, end-to-end -end interactive product configuration demo of a uh, GX7 skid loader. This configurator runs on multiple platform and device, including the mobile, desktop, and so on. And the second is maintain your brand identity. Brand identity is a valuable commodity, ensuring the quality and the integrity of your product is critical to protecting your brand and strengthening your online presence. Or one way to ensure a, a creative presentation of your product, Digital Twin, is to build a Digital Twin based on the product design data. Like the data pre preparation tools such as Unity, in, in, in Industry, and the Pixies make this easier to import your existing product data and the variance to create configurator assets and the experience. This means you can create a curated digital twin of your product for marketing purpose and also easily ensure that change to the design model can be implemented in the online configure configurators. Yeah. And the explore vessel configurator is shown in this figure. The key to business success is the data that gives you insight into how your prospect and the customers are behaving. By offering personalized marketing experience, you also create a opportunity to collect information about the preference your customer express during the product interactions. So presenting options with product configurations and uh, matching the configured data to sales conversion gives you insights into the customer behavior. With this information, you can adjust your marketing activities accordingly, ensuring that you are delivering the contact to your customers that need, need to make the right purchasing decision. So by integrating market content production directly into your design workflow, you can create the marketing materials sooner and launch your product more quickly with a real-time 3D sales and the marketing solution. Marketing team can create up-to-date and the product accurate virtual set from the same model that design team used to build the product like without having a, to ship physical prototype to the location of the shoot. Yeah. This immersive technology enables business to use existing product data to create digital assets like uh, 3D product configurator, creating marketing content more efficiently, 
drive fast time to market and uh, increase customer engagement. So like the uh, executive leaders can respond by the extending of the concept of the digital twin comment on the manufacturing to drive revenue and engagement, increasing efficiency while also feeding insight into new product and service development. Automakers use the Internet of Things to collect data and apply AI and machine learning to model what is likely to happen in the future. We can see in this figure just as digital twin of an engine can be used by engineering for predictive the maintenance, an ADT of customers can be used by different departments within a organization like product management or customer experience team to simulate and participate customer behavior. So the customer behavior so the customer AIDT is more than just a personal. That's concept familiar to marketing executive. It goes beyond the collection of data points to provide contextual information and prediction of the future behavior. It's used both online and physical interaction, and this is dynamic updating as new information because available and uh, recognizes that one person can represent multiple person and that these roles may change over time. The twin collects enough data to accurately simulate the customer experience, moving them to more positive consumer. Like, yeah, like here, consumer confidence, confi conf confidence is the key for many industries. And this is not just about someone have confidence that in a branch, but having confidence in themselves as the consumer. A digital twin can help business improve that experience and retain loyalty while also identifying the friction points that lead customers to defect to the competi competitors. And some may think that's just the marketing, yeah, but they are not more, it's more than that, yeah. The concept built on the capabilities of the CX core, the customer experience core is the customer organization relationship experience model, which creates lasting and valuable relationship with people and the group. This combined with the business strategy, like the total experience, the TX, for creating superior shared customer and uh, employee experience. So the CX core creates a personal for a individual group or machine to provide more insight into the right TX for the personal. So the TX, the total experience map out a superior shared experience journey for customers and employees, moving them a better relationship stage. As you can see in this figure, the digital twin synchronize with the physical representation using the real-time data input and the event stream processing, while the action is taken on a series of data points organized originating from the system that continuously creates the data. This virtual circle informs and uh, affects the CX core personal and uh, TX st st strategies. So the CX core, you can see this figure, act as a organizing principle for whatever roles based or 
functional technology like digital commerce or location-based service that you may use to manage your customer relationship for the entire life cycle. This is how they work. The customer in the center is surrounded by the different stage of the relationship with a organization with from the experience like helping you understand what's happening with the customer and uh, providing information about what action to take. And the experience in brand use customer insights to, uh, to drive the interaction principles that govern the two-way relationship. Sources come from the social media, context reference, like the previous uh, behavior and the other re relevant data. So the and the intelligent coordination using the principles from the experience membrane de delivering the customer's experience. So the digital plus the physical uh, interaction across the organization. And critically, it is a partnership between people and technology as not all experience are automated or no entirely informed by anal analytical insights. The supporting based on the capabilities provides people Processing the technology enables for customers understanding and the experience membrane and the intelligent coordination. So in the CX core model, the intelligent coordination bridge the functional silos to deliver a re relevant set of products and service. People and digital in coordination fashion designed for whatever stage of the relationship and the customer is at in a close to real time as the feasible. And like the traditionally customer data is all not meaningfully shared and uh, coordinate across the organization. The digital train of the customer fits into the an analyze and modeling of the information continuously and uh, um, crucially. It is visible to the um, organization and the consumer. So let's jump into how dynamic personal like, like these people see plays a key role in enhancing customer experience like that by defining a dynamic personal. Unlike traditional personal, which are static, a dynamic personal is a living profile that involves based on the real-time data that's and the interaction. It's allowed business to understand and predict customer behavior more accurately. Yeah, and that's moving on the trigger event like show in figure five. These are specific occurrence that impact a customer experience, shaping the person perception and of the brand and the uh, a uh, product in the CS core model. These events are categorized into the negative, neutral, and the positive. Negative event might include a branch of the trust or unmeet the expectations, while a positive event could range from the proactive protection to high value experience. So with Sydney's personal, we can map out a journey roadmap, show like in figure six, that help us anticipate and respond to this trigger event. We send 
For example, if Cindy cannot find the product she need for the latest trend, the roadmap guides us to provide solution like AI tools or one-on-one -on -one consolations. So by tracking the and thus evaluating Cindy's interactives, such as the tools they use and uh, her buying habit, we gain insights in, into her customer journey. This allows to uh, trigger marketing champions that are timely and relevant to her needs. Now, let's see the digital twin action. Suppose Cindy um, experienced a negative stage where the color didn't work for her, and the digital twin can prompt us to offer her a stylist consul consultations to correct the issues. And if she at the neural stage, we might offer a customer's con conditioner to maintain her color, hair color, and if she is delighted exceeding ex uh, the expectation, we can provide the update on the latest trend to her style. So what's the result? Cindy enjoy a more personal and uh, satisfying the experience. So for the business is this win too, as they gain the profound customer satisfaction insight, fostering loyalty and uh, encouraging repeat business. Yeah, so connecting total experience to the CX core total, um, the total experience interlink the CX core personal insight with this experience discipline. So the first is the customer experience to is to understand several dimension, the want, the need, uh, expectation, beliefs, and the feeling, and the past the, the um, experience, and the employee employee experience, like increased job satisfaction, retention, skill level, and uh, productivity, and for the user exper experience that's combined the. Uh, business object, user needs, and the best practice designed to optimize digital product. And for the multiple, multi-experience, the MX, that interacts across multiple touch points, like the mobile app, web, and the uh, AR and the VR, and the variables, something like that. That, so this technology drives greater customer and uh, employee confidence and the satisfaction, loyalty. And like in traditionally, uh, each experience is the strategist, create and maintains in solo. So the TS changes this approach. It doesn't make the... um experience better instead it's continuous refine customers experience so like this figure uh digital training of the customer extends the cx core this is a circle the digital training of the customer shape how the organization should interact with the customer and uh, create or refine the new TX strategy. Yeah. And now let's jump to editing in finance. So um, the digital twin, financial twin, this concept is reshaping how companies manage the finance and make strategy con con decision. Yeah, finance function can use a virtual 
representation of key metrics to facility analysis of granular data and improve decision making at the enterprise level. And the um, financial function must fulfill new management requirements arising from digitalization and uh, advanced business model, changing the expectation and uh, non-traditional value drivers. But they often lack the access to the data need to make rapid and uh, pre precious decision in the involving environment. So existing data typically doesn't spend the entire product lifetime, provide detailed information down to the product level or allow the correlations of the financial and the non-financial metrics. So, so the concept called the digital financial twin offers a solution. The twin is a digital representation of financial and uh, selected non-financial metrics, including this measuring relationship structures and uh, process across the entire product lifetime and the value chain. So this pre previously allocate these metrics to the product, service, suppliers, customers, and employees. Production and the supply chain function are already using digital twin to gain transparency into the granular real-time operational data. By implementing a similar cap capability, the finance function can facilitate the uh, comparison of granular data across function and boost the efficiency and the quality of decision making at the enterprise level. And the time is right to establish the technical and organization preconditions. Many companies need to update or replace the enterprise resource planning, the uh, ERP system, and uh, better integrate automation and uh, human decision making into the finance functions. Like by implementing a scalable system architecture based on the modern IT architecture and uh, fo focusing on solving funda fundament problems through data analysis. Organizations can lay the foundations for the um, creation and use the digital financial twins. And for the real-time economy, the digi digitalization has led to ever shorter product development circle in various um, industries, including the autom automotive technology and the life science. To adapt to digital business model and the great level of the variability, organization must make decision quickly and uh, implement them effect effectively. So the finance professionals need transparent access to data and KPIs and often require real-time analysis and recommendations in order to take a pre pill action. And for the greater individualization, customer increasingly demand demand the product and the service offering. Most of the companies don't have the detailed information required for the individualization 
because the manual workload and the cost necessary to obtain and uh, process is uh, too high. Yeah. And then combined product and uh, service offering. Companies are combining product and service offering to generate additional um, revenue and uh, profit over the product lifetime. But the financial metrics of, of available for a particular product usually cover only short period. So the SAP company has observed that company struggled to design the best combinations of the product and service offering and uh, to set optimal price because they are unable to consider a product's entire life, life cycle when forecasting the revenue and the margins. So, and next is the expanded scope of value creation. Like traditional financial indicators, such as the um, sales cost margins and uh, operating assets are no longer the only decisive factor in maturing a company, company's success at, the, at creating value. Non-financial dimension, such as the environmental, social, and uh, governments, the ESG factors are gaining importance warning to the uh, regulatory and uh, le legal legislative development and uh, new societal demands. Like for example, governments assess a company's economical footprint for the uh, regularity companies. Investors consider it in the valuations and the consumers consider it to in purchasing the decision. So today, most companies are not able to correlate no financial information with the uh, financial one. So as a result, they struggle to make database trade off decision such as the effect for specific emission reduction goes on the profitable of the different product so a digital financial trends helps company meet the management uh, arising from the the, the requirements arising from this Mm, development a train processly allocated financial and non-financial information to the product. Sections from the value chain or organizations unit, including the uh, divisions, customer segment, and the market. This allocation is made possible firstly by the expansion of classification attribute for data and uh, second by uh, avail availability of model in memory data sets that combine such attribute to agree aggregate data in the real time. So this capability allows the digital financial twin to provide in this four key benefits. So the first is detailed product specific information. Today is it is generally not possible to manage a business on a product specific basis. Many companies struggle to present a comprehensive profit and a loss statement for each product and the product variables along the value chain. So a digital financial training enable, enable the companies to analyze the um, profitable at the individual product level. In the automotive industry, for example, a company could determine the value 
contributes of specific specific equipment by vehicle identification number that this allows to optimize decision on the product various for example uh, components um, modified to reduce the emission with full transparency into the associated cost and uh, investment such as this related to the materials production capability and uh, the subsidies and uh, um, customs duties. Yeah, so the digital twin provides greater transparency than ever before by accurately uh, attributing revenue and cost to product and uh, customers over time. This can determine the value contribute of the entire product or the uh, customer's life cycle and simulate different scenario. Like this figure, the company can support both short-term and uh, uh, both short-term control measures and long-term strategy financial decisions. So on the revenue side, the digital twin help to set the price based on the lifetime profitability and uh, automotive OEM, the original equipment manufacturer, for example, uh, could optimize the initial price of vehicle by considering focused of sales in of the in-car service which customers can active after the purchase the vehicle. And on the expense side, transpar transparency into total product cost informed decision about de design and production. And the decision can also consider warm warranty or recycling cost. So the integration of non-financial information by attributing relevant characters along the value chain, the digital financial twin enable company to compare financial KPIs, such as the profitability and the non-financial KPIs, such as the CO2 em emission, over the entire product lifetime. So this transparency supports making trade offers across the product life cycle to optimize the company's ecological footprint and other uh, the ESG factors. It has enabled, in fact, reporting to the external stakeholder. So like info information avail availability in the near real time. Companies can apply the automatic aggregation of the tran transaction data into the digital financial team to increase the comp competency. For example, information aggregate at the early stage of the product service or customer lifecycle enable rapidly operational and strategy decision making and uh, any necessary necessary course corrections so the basic technology technical requirements for uh, introducing a digital financial chain is a scalable system landscape like the next generation ERP and the data layer based on the model cloud-based architecture. The company can transition to this landscape by building a data and a, a digi digi digital platform that separates the data layer from the next generation ERP system and any existing legacy system. 
So you can see this system enable near real time aggregation of the transa transactional data in a um, integrated platform, including all attributes relevant to financial guidance, such as purchase price and the data and the date. Yeah. So the data include profit and uh, loose KPI, such as total revenue and gross margin, balance sheet KPI, such as the uh, working capital return on um, equity or return on investment, variety cost, cost CO2 emission and the supply information. And other preconditions include the sufficient and uh, scalable storage and the computing power. Also, session and the security protocols and the secure data storage. These preconditions provide the basic for functions such as the um, parallel valuation, individual product control, product life cycle planning, simulation, and uh, reporting. So as we continue to explore the use of the ADT in finance, let's delve into an uh, interesting use case directly um, related to the concept of the digital financial team, twin. Like this paper, creating digital twin a tool for simulating business model design. Like this is Kira and the team develop the digital twin in the business model simulation. And this paper began by discussing the need for company to adapt the rapidly changing market situation and consumer behavior driven by the um, digital digitalization and uh, technical advance. This emphasized the importance of rethinking outdated business model and creating new one to remain competitive and uh, successful in the market. And as the center of this research is development of the digital tools called the business model generator. The tools can help organization meet the challenge of the digital transformation. And this allowed company to simulate and interactive adapt the uh, business model to changing market conditions and the customer's need. So you can mm, have a look at this figure. User can edit individual variable in the tools to understand interrelationship and see the impact of on business outcomes such as profitability or economy value added. This simulation provides a dynamic views of the um, business model reflecting the changes in input parameters and allowed for validations, testing and review of the business model in a digital environment. And the digital version of the business model generator not only help to create business model efficiently, but also provide the real-time information. The real-time functionally enable the decision-making process by making it easier to review and uh, transform business model. So this paper provides a compelling case for the use the digital training, modeling, and optimizing business models. It highlights the potential of digital training in strategy planning and the financial decision-making. Yeah, and now here is another good use case of the AIDT in finance and focusing on the integration of digital twin with robot advi advisory service. 
and so this study the integration of the digital twin with the um robot adver adversary in the management of the personal finance is present uh interactive and uh, explanatory model that analyzes the key variables for designing advanced financial robot advisor and uh, incorporate digital twin concept and the application. So like this figure, personal data is integrated into a platform that operates as a digital twin. Raw data generated by individual uh, through the numerous data source such as the uh, IoT sensors, cloud computing, and the smart mobile device will form a digital footprint of a individual online financial activity that can be traced tra tra back, back to the individual. So each digital activity is listened to, recorded, extracted, and uh, uh, analyzed to be translated into the predictions and the, the analyze and uh, also the recommendation specific to the individual. And the individual have the ability to access, update, and uh, interact with the DT for uh, options and the recommendations. So the result of the um, intelligent integrate inter relations between the individual and the ADT enhance the ability of DTs to act as a robot advisor, providing feedback and uh, uh, recommendations for assess management, uh, like the retirement, um, investment, saving, risk management, and other purpose. Those delivering great value to uh, individual financial management and well-being. So in the fine tech space, digital twin can enhance robot advisory service by providing a more comprehensive and uh, personalized financial management experience. Yeah, and after understanding the AIDT marketing and the finance. Let's um, explore another exciting application of AIDT in the social science. With this is focused on the education, like the gamification of learning through digital twin. We will discuss this paper. That um, gamification is the addition of game elements to traditional learning to make it more engaging. This includes point system challenging social connection and uh, reward that's applied to teaching to increase students' engagement. So the concept of teaching for fun is at the heart of this approach which utilize the inter interactive nature of virtual games to motivate and engage the learner. So in education, digital training can facilitate immersive learning experience such as model building, surgical training, and hands-on instructor, replacing the traditional labor with a uh, virtual simulation. And here is another interesting use case in social science, focusing on the personality, personality trait recognition. So this research propose a technical to form, formalize personality into a digital twin model by uh, observing user behavior on the social media, like the uh, posting content and, and the liking patterns. So this multitask 
learning deep neural network model is uh, utilized to predict the user's personality through different types of data presentation, thereby um, improving the accuracy of the prediction. So you can see the digital twin in this framework have several characters. The first, sensory and uh, accurate. Real twin can be encrypted with sensors to replicate the sense. In online social network, the posting content and the liking behavior of user can record to sensory and understand user personality. And the second is the intelligent. In this study, they leverage deep learning technology to combine users' uh, posting content and the liking behavior be for the personality prediction. And the third is presentation. In this content, um, digital twin deploy a virtual human representation to understand human personality by timely observing users posting content and behavior. So using the social network data to analyze personality traits is feasible and can provide ins insight into the human behavior and the preference. So based on the insight into individual personalities, it's opened up the possibility of developing more personalized and uh, effective strategies in the area such as marketing, education, and uh, workplace management. Yeah. So that is all content for today's session. Yeah, thanks for your listening. So let's jump into our quiz time and see how much you have learned from today's session, okay? Yeah, that's uh, ha I I have five questions and that's uh, begin the first question. Yeah, you can begin to answer it. What is the key advantage of uh, employing only channel marketing with AIDT? The first is it reduces the need for physical stores or it allows customers to try different product configurations across various platforms or it focuses on solely on mobile marketing or it elements the need for the customer feedback. That answer the question. Yeah, it shows we only have four people. Yeah, let's see the answer. Yeah, that's the correct answer. That's Omic channel marketing with the um, digital training technology enable the customer to uh, interact with the product digital presentation in various in sorry, in various ways across the multiple platform. That includes the mobile, the desktop, the AR, the AR and the, the VR, yeah. And let's jump to the second one. So in the content of AIDT, what does maintain brand identity involves? A is focusing only on social media marketing, B, ignoring customer reference in product design, C, ensuring accuracy digital presentation of product based on decision data. Let's, let's see the result. Yeah, seems like this is a simple question, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the maintain brand identity in the content of AIDT involves creating the accurate and the high quality di digital representation of the product. Yeah. Okay, 
Let's jump to the next one. What is the role of a digital twin of a customer in enhancing customer experience? So the first is replace the need for human customer service. It provides content. Yeah, seem like all you have answered the question. Let's see. Yeah. Mm. Good, good. So yeah, the digital chain of the customer is dynamic, like the virtual representation that use real-time data and the uh, interaction to provide a comprehensive views of the customers. Yeah, unlike the static personals. Yeah, let's jump to the fourth. In the context of digital training in business model simulation, what is the main benefit of the business model builder tool? That may be a little different, a little difficult. Yeah, let's see. Mm -hmm. Seem like not difficult. Yeah, it's the easy one. Yeah, it's the correct answer. The um, the business model builder to incorporate the digital twin lot forms to dynamic simulation and adapt the business model in response to changing market condition and the consumer behaviors. Yeah, and the, the last one, let's jump to last one. What is the key benefit of integrating gamification with digital twin technology in education? A, it completely replaced traditional teaching method. B, it reduced the need for student. Okay, let's see the result. Mm. Yeah, seem like this session's question is still too easy for you. You are very good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's finish the quiz time. Quiz time. Yeah, quiz time. Okay. Here. Okay. So the next thing is the homework, yeah, please complete all design for your own ADT by uh, 22 December, it's next Friday, yeah. Uh, including the objective setting, data preparation, uh, algorithm and the uh, backend and the frontend development and the uh, ethical consideration. Yeah, please complete all the content by the by this data date. And if you have any question, please add me or Aliza in the spreadsheet or just send the email to me. Oh, it's okay. We will answer your question and support you to build your AIDT. Yeah. And this is end for today's session.